Hi guys, welcome back. This is Creative Grail Stone Arthur and I'm Shiva. We are making products and prototypes. And the topic for today's video is how to make a drone part 1. In this part 1, we are going to make a transmitter for the drone and in the next video, we are going to make the drone and the receiver. Without wasting further time, let's get into the video. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, link in the description. You can even find more details about this project. Link in the description for the blog where you can find the Arduino code and much more details about this project. Finally, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. You will be given with three options. Always be number one, click all. One. Once this is completed, you will be notified whenever we are uploading a new video. To support us, give a like to this video and share this video with your friends and family. Only then, the YouTube algorithm knows our video and boosts it. Now, let's get into the video. Let's see what are the components required for this project. This is NRF module used for establishing radio communication. Secondly, we need some joystick module for giving input signal to the Arduino. Now we can get to know better. These joystick modules are nothing but two potentiometers on X and Y axis. Along with this two potentiometer, there is a button which is used to give digital signal, whereas the potentiometer give us analog signals. By using these two joystick modules, we can generate two digital signals and four analog signals, which means our transmitter is six channel. However, by using an NRF module, we can able to generate up to 125 channels. But not in this video. This video is limited to six channels only. In the joystick module, there are five pins. The first two pins, ground and 5 volt, are for our power supply, and the next two pins are for reading the values of x and y axis of the potentiometer finally sw means switch which is used to capture the digital signal of the button now let's get into the next component which is nothing but oled display this display is optional only if you want you can use it next the battery we have to choose a 3.7 volt battery and if your battery voltage is greater than 3.7 then there's a chance you can burn the components finally the brain of our transmitter which is nothing but Arduino ENO. Uh, we don't want the Arduino board fully, we just want this IC alone. We can gently remove it, the screwdriver. Be careful otherwise you may end up with damaging the pins. Next we need is header pins and PCB board. It is used for soldering all the components together. Finally grab some screws and close the list. You can find a link in the description for all the items you can buy from there. It's time to build the circuit. With the help of a circuit diagram, I have created a PCB and after two hours of soldering, I got this skeleton. Now it's just time for me to insert the components and screw it up. I have designed the PCB in such a way that we can easily remove it and fix it. Just insert the two joystick module in both sides. There is holes for fixing this together. Under the PCB we can see the soldering which means we have to cover it up with the insulator otherwise it will make a short circuit or any damage to the components. To get us out of this problem cardboards are used. We know cardboard is a pretty much good insulator and with the help of screws we have pack up the cardboard and the PCB. I have used a foam sheet just to fill the empty space. Now let's see about the coding. You can use any Arduino based microcontroller but in this project I am using chip alone. Connect the USB cable from the computer and open the Arduino IDE. This is the computer which I have made in 2-3 to three videos back. If you want to make this computer, link is in the description for this video or you can watch it in the card. Open the Arduino IDE. Once it's opened, you can start writing the code. I will explain you the code once it's fully written. Two hours later. Now we have successfully completed the code. We need some additional library for this code to work. Now let's download it. Click tools and from there you can see manage library option and click it. Once the tab is opened, type RF24. 
install the library rf24 by tmhr and its library just install it i have already installed the library and the second library is adafruit gfx library this is for old display you can find the first one adafruit old display sorry second one just install it third we need adafruit ssd1306 library install all the three library now let's see how the code is working first we are calling the libraries which we are going to use in this project second we are declaring the pin 7 and 8 for the rf communication and in the third line we are using address 0001 which is just to ensure we are communicating with the right device in the reserve also we are going to give the same address in the next line we are going to initialize the variables which are going to store the value of the potentiometers and the buttons the x1 means the value of potentiometry x1 and value of potentiometry x2 y1 same in the white setup we are going to indicate which are the pins we are going to indicate as input these are the four potentiometer pins and 12 and 9 are the pins for for the switch button open writing pipe means in which address we are going to send the signals the address this is 0001 which we indicated in the starting make sure the receiver also have the same address in order to receive the data correctly and set pa level we are going to set the power level pa min means minimum power and if you want to maximum power just change min to max stop listening means we are going to stop the port listening that means we are not going to receive any data from other end since it's a transmitter we are going to only send the signals if radio not begin we are going to set NRF module not detected then we are going to write our channel name and here we are reading the values of all the potentiometer x1 x2 x3 etc and we are going to display it in a OLED display and display dot print x well which is nothing but the unlock read the unlock read function reads the value from the potentiometer of this joystick module finally we are gathering all the values of the potentiometer in an array and sending the array to the other end in the radio dot rate ampersand array the array name and the size of array the size of array is used to check whether all the packets are received correctly now the display dot display means we are displaying all the values in the OLED display and after 10 100 millise microseconds we are clearing all the display and the process is going to repeat n number of times till we cut off the power supply to the Arduino now let's upload the code to Arduino check the board and port are currently mentioned compiling once it's compiling it will start uploading now it's done it's time for us to remove the USB cable and the chip from the Arduino first remove the USB cable and then remove the chip and give it to the transmitter which is eagerly waiting to work be careful and then insert the NRF module in the upper slot and finally insert the OLED display that's it it's time for us to test by gently inserting the power supply we can see the logo of our two channels and the values of the potentiometers by adjusting the potentiometer we can see the values are changing which means our transmitter is perfectly working now let's check whether it's transmitting the data or not if the module is not connected or not connected properly it's going to say NRF module not connected not detected just insert it and restart now it's working properly now it's time to check whether the transmitter is transmitting the data or not for this we have to make the simple receiver and in the next video we are going to make a decent receiver for the drone this is the trial version now we can open the Arduino IDE in the computer this is the sketch for the receiver the address are same now let's upload the code and open the serial monitor you can see the data is received in the serial monitor from the transmitter 
which means our project is working perfectly. In the next video, we are going to make the drone and receiver circuit. If, if you want to get notified when we are uploading that video, just subscribe to our channel which will motivate us to do more videos and hit the bell icon, you will be notified whenever we are uploading a new video. Now it's time to say goodbye. If you want, you can like this video and share this video with your friends and family. See you soon in another video.